Hi, my name is Jeff Hutchings, and this is how to use the multi-filter to remove microphone noise and ambient noise from your vocal track in BandLab. Whether you're using the microphone on your phone or you're using a professional microphone, setting up a multi-filter on your vocal track can make your vocal sound more professional and easier to mix. At the bottom of the home screen, tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the icons and tap on the voice mic icon. Alternatively, on the track mixer screen, tap on the plus icon below the last track. Then tap on voice mic in the pop-up menu. At the bottom of the screen, tap on the record button. Record a couple of bars of silence, then sing a couple of bars. Then tap on the stop button. All I need is a miracle. All I need is a miracle. At the top of the screen, tap on the brown section on the first bar of the ruler to turn it orange. Then press your finger on the end of the orange section and drag your finger to the right so the orange section is as long as the silent recorded section. Near the bottom of the screen, tap on Effects. Below the None icon, tap on Create. At the top right of the Effects screen, tap on the Plus icon. At the top of the Effects screen, scroll through the tabs and tap on the Tone tab. Then tap on Multi Filter. To the right of the word Type, tap on Low Pass. And tap on Notch on the pop up menu. A notch filter removes a small band of frequency, so it's very good for removing certain types of background noise. Drag the dot on the slider to the right of the letter Q to the right until it says about 2.0 under the letter Q. At the bottom of the screen, tap the play button. Then drag the dot on the slider to the right of the word frequency to the left until you hear an audible reduction in the ambient noise. At the top right of the FX screen, tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs and tap on the tone tab again. Then tap on multi filter again. To the right of the word type, tap on low pass. And tap on notch on the pop up menu. Drag the dot on the slider to the right of the letter Q to the right until it says about 2.0 under the letter Q. Then, at the bottom of the FX screen, tap on the play button again. Then drag the dot on the slider to the right of the word frequency to the left until you hear an audible reduction in the ambient noise.
at the top right of the FX screen. Tap on the plus icon again. Scroll through the tabs and tap on the Tone tab. And tap on Multi Filter again. To the right of the word Type, tap on Low Pass. Tap on Notch on the pop up menu. Drag the dot on the slider to the right of the letter Q to the right until it says 2.0 under the letter Q. Then at the bottom of the FX screen, Tap on the play button again, then drag the dot on the slider to the right of the word frequency, to the left, until you hear an audible reduction in the ambient noise. In theory, the more multi-filters you use, the more microphone or ambient noise you can remove from your vocal track. But BandLab is restricted to eight effects. So for this demo, and as a normal recommendation, three is probably the most you want to use. At the top left of the FX screen, tap on the back arrow icon. At the bottom of the screen, Tap on the audio wave icon. At the top of the screen, place your finger on the end of the orange section on the ruler and drag your finger to the right until the orange section is as long as the recorded vocals section. At the bottom of the screen, tap on effects. Below the custom icon, tap on customize. Now at the bottom of the screen, tap on the play icon. Then to the right of the words multi filter, tap on the bypass icon several times to check that the filter does not have a bad effect on your vocals. All I need is a miracle. At the top left of the FX screen, tap on the second filter icon, then tap on the bypass icon several times to check the filter does not have a bad effect on your vocals. All I need is a miracle. Then at the top left of the FX screen, tap on the third filter icon. Then tap on the bypass icon several times to check that that filter does not have a bad effect on your vocals. All I need is a miracle. If one of the multi filters has a bad effect on your vocals, try setting up that filter again using a different frequency or by moving the dot on the Q slider further to the right. All I need is a miracle. Finally, you can save this custom effects and use it on any future vocal tracks that are recorded with the same microphone setup. At the top right of the FX screen, tap on the three dots. Tap on Save As on the pop up menu. Type in a name. Then tap Save. At the top left of the screen, tap on the back arrow. Your saved FX preset will now appear to the left of the None icon. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!